Hello, everybody. Oh my goodness. It's, I know it's late um, for some people, but I, I have to do these trainings later at night just because I have so many kids. So <laughs> with that being said, let me just jump right in. Um, I am super excited to be here. You probably have no idea who I am. Um, I am a star director. My name is Katrina Anderson. My group is Empowering Sense. And Faith asked me if I would come talk to you guys today about how I work my business. And she seems to think that I am super creative, which I'm not too sure about that. But I am super flattered to be asked to come talk to you guys. Um, so a little bit about me. I have been with Sensi since 2018, so I joined before the pandemic, um, and I promoted to director in um, 2020, so during the pandemic, um, and things just kind of blew up from there with all of that hyper growth. Um, we are a military family, and we're currently stationed in South Carolina, so if you're local to me, I would love to meet you. Um, I love to meet new people and help people out wherever they are. Um, I have five kids. Like I said, I have a lot of kids, so I had to wait until after, like, most of them were bedtime. My oldest is 17, and my youngest is nine months. So, yeah, big, big jump. I mean, there's ones in the middle, but, yeah. <laughs> I have been married to my husband for 20 years. He's been in the military for 20 years. Um, yeah. High school sweethearts, you know how that goes. So, um, I guess that's it. Like, you don't need to hear any more about me. Like, meh, meh. Um, just know that I'm super busy. I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, just five kids is a lot for anybody. So, <laughs> um, I don't have that much time during the day, believe it or not, even though I'm a stay-at-home mom. Um, as a lot of you stay-at-home stay moms know, um, we don't just sit at home and do nothing, right? Um, we have very minimal spare time on our hands. So when I work my business, I <laughs> I do it in, in chunks, and I hope that this helps someone. Um, first of all, I'm a huge list person. Um, lots and lots and lots of lists. That is how, um, you know, when I first joined, it's taken me four and a half years to figure out that it's okay to just have simple lists. You do not need an elaborate system. I used to hear the word system and I would get so like freaked out like and overwhelmed like, and I have anxiety too by the way, so if you hear, I'm, I'm gonna say overwhelmed a lot because that happened to me a lot and especially as you move up um, and your team grows. Um, so I hope what I can help you with can help even an essential consultant or a star director. Um, or even a superstar director, who knows? So, <laughs> anyways, um, I'm sorry that I'm scrolling a little bit. I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have notes, so, because I'm super nervous to talk to you guys. So if you have any questions, please drop them in the chat. Um, so yes, I do, I do um, lists. I used to hear the word systems and it would freak me out and overwhelm me because I thought that a system would needed to be this elaborate thing when really a simple a system is just something that is simple, like a to-do list, like a checklist, um, because that's what works for me. Like a system is just something that you can use every month or however often you do something and make it replicatable and for me, the simpler, the better. I don't like to overcomplicate things. I like things to be as simple as possible. So for me, I, the very first thing that I did was, um, it was recommended to me by my sponsor to literally one day just write down everything I do for my business for the whole month. So I just kept track in my phone and um, it was a lot. It was a long note, but I broke it down every day and I noticed patterns of, Things were very heavy on certain days, and there were some days that there was really hardly anything. Um, and so I went from there, and I was like, okay, I'm going to create like these daily tasks that I need to do. That overwhelmed me because I felt like when I had a day where like the kids were sick, um, and I didn't get those things done on that day, all of a sudden I felt very stressed out like I was behind. So I nixed that immediately. Not good for mm -hmm. mental health, right? I found that the best thing that works for me is weekly tasks. So I have 
this that I work with every month and it's just stapled and I will share this with you guys if you'd like and it's just very simple on Google Docs it's tasks to, that help me stay on track and I've broken it down it's for the month so I print one of these every month but it's broken down by week so week one I have a certain set of things that I get done week two week three and each week I also have join conversations in there, host conversations in there, um, tracking my numbers. It's very important for you to track your numbers because you notice patterns for yourself and your team as you grow. Um, and noticing patterns is really good. Um, sending emails and things like that. But it's literally a checklist broken up by week. And the reason I like the weekly stuff is because, like I said, there are some days that are just way crazier than others where I can barely touch my business. But it's okay because if it's only the third of the month, I know that I still have till the seventh to get the rest of that stuff done. So, you know what I mean? Like for me, sometimes I just have to play tricks on my brain a little bit. That's, that's what works for me. Um, I do touch my business every single day, even if it's just having a conversation with someone. Um, but I mainly try to go as hard as possible on the weekends because I have kids. So I go hard on the weekends so that I don't have to during the week. Um, and sorry if you hear my kids, they're in the kitchen. Sorry, they're getting water, ice water. Um, I go hard on the weekends so that I don't have to during the week. So they're my obviously my days are going to look a lot different than yours. Um, but I will share this tracker with you guys, this list with you guys, so you can edit it and do what you just make a copy of the file and you can you can change it to however you want. Maybe it'll help you, maybe it won't. Give it a try. I have just found that it uh, this is the first thing in four and a half years to hold me accountable. I want so desperately to be a planner person and I'm not a planner person. I buy all the pretty planners. I bought the one from the consultant store. I love Johanna Luna's planner, but I can't do it. I am like a stationary whore and I will buy all the notebooks and all of the planners, but I don't actually use them. It's like, you know how some people like they don't buy plants because oh, it's just going to come home to die. Yeah. Planners come to my house to die because once they get bought and brought home, they never get touched. And then I find them three years later and I'm like, oh, look, that's from 2018, you know? So <laughs> I need, this is just what works for me and it took me four and a half years to figure it out so um, I hope that it helps you so I will share that later later on tonight with you guys um, okay sorry I have notes <laughs> so the biggest thing is um, what makes you stand out to your customers um, and you have to think outside of the box when it comes to how you work how you share things um, the biggest thing that I noticed was I have a very large portion of my customers that are not on social media or they are on social media, but I'm not friends with them on social media. They're not obligated to friend request to me. They're not. Absolutely not. Um, honestly, it's happening a lot on social media right now where people are actually turning away from social media. And I'm okay with that. Um, a lot of people are just wanting to take a step back from things and that's cool. Um, I don't ever pressure people to friend request me after a party, after they order, nothing like that. Because while yes, I do have a VIP group and I share very consistently in my VIP group, my business page and my personal page and my stories and my Instagram, I share on all those things. I have a YouTube channel. They're not obligated to like those things. They're not obligated to friend request me, join things at all as long as I have their email and if they've ordered I automatically have their email so I love to send a weekly email and it doesn't happen overnight it took about a month of sending emails consistently weekly um, but they have changed my business it has been such a game changer and it's one of the things that Faith commented on that she loved so much that I do so I just wanted to walk you through my thought process on why I do them, how I do them, and then I'm going to share them with you too, okay? So, <laughs> um, because I am very much a list person, because the, that is what Katrina does, is she makes lists, all right? 
Um, and I promise not to refer to myself in the third person again. That's weird. Ew. Um, <laughs> um, because I, I'm such a list person, that is how I do my emails. Um, I use, <laughs> I look at what is launching that following week and I literally just go down the list and that is what I put in my email. I keep it very simple. In the beginning, I thought, hmm, I don't want to be that person that floods their email box with, with their, their inbox with a bazillion emails. I'm just going to send them one email at the beginning of the month and just tell them everything that's coming. First of all, no one was clicking on them and opening them. No one was because I do always put, uh, sometimes I'll put something in the bottom that's like, you know, tell me um, your favorite, your current favorite scent or what you're warming to be entered um, to win a prize, you know, just to get some kind of interaction back and I wasn't getting any responses um it's because I opened the I always make sure I send myself an email and I opened it one time and I was like this is so long I wouldn't read this I there's no way even with all the pretty pictures in the world and all the pretty color fonts in the world I would not read this email I would scroll and be like girl bye no so what I do now is I send a weekly email I normally send it on Saturdays um, and it talks about what is launching normally, typically that Monday, because we have Monday launches, right? It hasn't happened in a while, but there will come a point in time when we don't have a Monday launch, right? I'm still going to send that email and I'm just going to highlight something from the catalog. I'm going, or maybe then I will reiterate certain special that I'm doing, or maybe that's when I will send a, a booking email to people, you know, um, but every, so this way they get an email every week from me about what is coming in the next week. Okay. Um, it's kind of like the same thing I do with my team. I do a week at a glance post and I've shared that before too, like on the leaders pages. And I'm sure Faith has seen that where I literally post the upcoming week for my team. It helps everyone stay on track, including me. Um, and it just lets them know like what meetings and, you know, Zooms that they need to know about, um, launches that they need to know about home office closures, things like that. I just put it in one post for them. Um, it's called week at a glance and I do it every Sunday for my team. And I thought, Oh, I need to do this for my customers. So I send them an email once a week. Okay. Um, very simple. It's nothing crazy. It is literally like, um, you know, Hey y'all, I hope you're had, you're having a great weekend. Here's what's coming at you this week in Sensi land. And then I list the things. I normally take the whatever banner picture from the news tab maybe and I put the picture and then I do a little blurb about it. Some people will even just copy and paste the, you know, the description from the news tab. Um, I'm sorry that I keep messing with my bra, by the way. Um, it just broke on me, so it's currently trying to kill me. Um, anybody happen that happened to anybody? That, that hurts. Oh, my God. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> it's literally trying to stab me in the heart right now. Um, Anyway, sorry. Um, and I just put a little blurb about it. The big thing that I have learned from one of my downline directors, I learned it from one of my, she's my frontline, one of my frontline directors under me, Mindy Hilton. Make it easy on your customers. You put a link for that direct item everywhere. So like if I'm sharing about three launches coming on Monday, on each little blurb, I am going to put the link for that specific collection under each thing. So yeah, my link is going in that email a bazillion times because it also goes in my my signature too. Um, but that's how I'm getting my, these orders because I'm making it easy for them. You never want your customers to ask you for the link. You never want to be like, oh my God, I got your email about the Star Wars stuff. I need that Mandalorian warmer so bad. Where's the link? Give me the link. No, girl, the link is already there in, the, no, 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 no. You make it so easy on them. Yes, it takes a little bit of extra time on you to put the link in there, the direct link. Um, but I also have really quick, quick, like little tips and tricks, tutorials on my YouTube on how to do things just super quick and easy. But the main reason that I do these emails is not even for my customers. It's not. The main reason I do the emails is so that I can share them with other consultants. Because I will literally make my email, I do it up in a Google Doc, because one, it makes it easier to have the pictures, and then you just copy the whole thing, and you paste it into the workstation email section, and it copies and pastes, boom, done.
okay? That way your pictures are in the middle of your email and they're not at the bottom of the email, okay? Um, but I do it so that I can share the Google Doc with other consultants because if I, cause I know how frustrating learning how to email on the workstation was when I first joined. So if I can make it easier on someone else, if I can take the frustration off of a newer consultant or even a seasoned consultant who just hasn't been able to figure it out yet because they're so busy with other things, let me take this one little frustration away for you. And here, I'm giving you this email. Copy and paste it. Change the links. That's it. And whenever I post it, I always share the tutorial on how to change the link and make it your make the link your own link, and also um, how to save the document and and copy it so that you can edit it yourself. Um, it's just very very easy. I I want things to be easy and replicatable for other consultants, not just people on my team. Uh, and that is why I will share everything that I do on as many pages that they will let me. <laughs> And you need to be doing that with when you share how, like when you share Sensi. Don't just share things in your VIP group. Share them in all the places. Do you know why? Because not everyone is in all the places. So that's why I don't, it doesn't bother me to share in literally 10 different groups when I share my email or I share my sample labels that I make. Um, I share them in like 10 different groups. No one has ever been like, oh my God, why did she share that in like, 10 different places. Do you know why? Because not everybody's in 10 different places. They're not. They're not in 10 different places. It's the same thing with your customers. Not everyone is looking at your Instagram story, your Facebook story, your Instagram grid, your Facebook page, your VIP page, your business page. Not everyone's looking at all those things. If they are, you need to be having a joint conversation with them. Okay? You that just That's for free. Okay? Um... <laughs> um but yes, I do everything on a Google Doc so that it can be um, replicated. I love utilizing Google Drive. It is something that I learned from Chloe Cox. I know you guys know her. She's y'all's SSD. She's my upline SSD. Um, Whitney Hebel is my SSD. Um, and I learned from Chloe, like, she kept putting things in a Google Drive, and I was like, that is just so brilliant. So I have a Google Drive for my team. Again, I am more than happy to just share it with y'all. Um, this is where I keep just all the things organized because it is very type A person in me to stay organized, but I do sample labels for all the LTOs I do, and they're all in the same basic address label, but again, it's because I can make a sample label in less than two minutes and have it ready to go, whereas someone else might spend all day being frustrated with Avery or Canva when I can take that frustration away and just give you all the samples and you literally just have to open it and press print and put the labels in your printer, if I can take that frustration away from you so that you can use your time more wisely on income producing activities, then I have done my job. Okay. I, my whole goal is to help you not be frustrated because Sensi is my happy place and Sensi should be your happy place too. Whether it's a business or a hobby for you, it should still be a happy place for you. It should still bring you joy and you should, I, if I can take that frustration away from you, that's what I've learned over in the last four and a half years. If I can take that from you and make your life easier, then I've done my job. <laughs> um, um, just keep things simple. Again, like I said at the beginning, I used to think that like a system needed to be something, that, you know, complex and um, you know, all of these things, it's, it can be as simple as a post-it note. It can be as simple as a list, as a checking the box, okay? You have to find something that works for you. Know that not everything that works for you is going to work for everyone else. Just like I know that I might share this and someone might be like, oh my gosh, I needed this. Thank you so much. And someone else might look at that and go, yeah, no, that's not going to keep me accountable for shit. It's... <laughs> It's okay. If I help one person, then I've done my job. Um, try it. Don't try it. It's completely up to you. Um, you just have to remember to go back to the basics. Have conversations. Join conversations and host conversations. Have conversations. Be genuine. Be authentic with how you share. Um, I'm sure Faith tells you guys this all the time. Share real life pictures. Don't use 
don't use flyers um, if you if you can help it. Um, we have amazing flyer groups. Um, I use those more for um, like just very specific things. If you can find a real life picture of something, use that instead. Um, but share like what you use. Like I don't use. I mean, we don't have them anymore, but like I never shared travel tins because I don't use them. My customers know I'm a Tide snob, so I don't share I don't share the laundry liquid or the scent soft, but I'm obsessed with the whiffs and share those all the time and share the shit out of them. So I do sprinkle in, see what I did there, sprinkle whiffs. Um, <laughs> I do sprinkle in a little bit about the laundry love bundle. I do let them know that. Um, but like my customers know I love Tide, so of course I love Scentsy Clean and Clothesline whiffs because that complements Tide. They're just perfect. Um, you know, my customers know that I don't use dish soap, uh, or I use dish soap, but I only use it to clean my sink because Katrina, again, third person, sorry, ick, I know. Um, I use, um, if it doesn't fit my dishwasher, I don't use it. <laughs> There's, mm -mm, I don't wash dishes. My dishwasher doesn't, no, mm -mm, no. If it doesn't fit in the dishwasher, I don't use it, or it sits there and someone else washes it, not me. So I use the dish soap to clean my sink, my stainless steel sink with a scrub daddy sponge, and my customers know that. So be authentic in what you share. Share what you use, share what you love. Share how Scentsy has blessed your life. Share you know what Scentsy can afford you to do. Even if, like listen, don't compare yourself when like other people's paychecks roll around, I always share mine. And like, I tell people all the time, I don't care if your paycheck was $2 or $200,000, which obviously in insert income disclosure, but like, even if your paycheck paid for a coffee at Dunkin' or Starbucks, you should share that because there is someone out there who wishes that they just had a little bit of extra money just to be able to treat themselves to coffee once a day if they wanted to without touching their family money. There is, I promise you, there's a mom somewhere that's just like, I just wish that I could go sit in the pedicure chair for an hour and not have to worry about we need that money for Johnny's, you know, soccer shoe, soccer sneakers or something, you know, whatever. Like, there are people that just, they want to feel like they can contribute to their household. Share how Sensi allows you to do those things. Share when you get PRV cards from your director. Share when you get encouragement from other teamies on your team. If you have an accountability partner who checks on you daily, um, share that you've made friends with people that you would have never met outside of Sensi. Some people join for the community. They don't even join for a paycheck. So share authentically to you, okay? And just be consistent in what you are doing and it will eventually show improvement in that area. I promise. Okay. So I love y'all. I will share my Google drive and all of the things for you. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. I'm more than happy to answer them. And I hope y'all have a good night. Thank you so much for sticking around this late at night. All right, y'all. <laughs> good night.